Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Gem, I'm also known as Sock Gems, and I make custom design eater bags and uh, fashion items made with fandom fabrics. It's been a while, I'm sorry, um, things have been hectic here. Um, as some of you know, my grandfather was taken into hospital in April. Um, and passed away last month so I've been dealing with that as well as um, my son not being able to edit videos for me because he's had his final uh, project for school not school college he's a big boy now so he's been focusing on that and not doing some any videos so Hopefully I will get back on track now and there will be some sort of routine. I'm hoping for weekly videos now. Um, in today's video, I thought that I would film myself making one of the Fazwatch inspired Eater bags. Uh, you guys have absolutely loved this bag. I've had so many orders for it. Thank you so much. Um, I've got everything already cut out, ready to go with all my pieces I have done the window already because I'd like to say it wasn't because I forgot I was filming uh, but it was I forgot I was filming sorry so we'll go from window onwards but the window is the same concept in each one of my bags so if you wanted to see how I make the window any of my other bags making eater bags, uh, any of my other bags, any of my other videos where I make a eater bag will show you how I do that. Um, so let's get started on putting the bag together. The first thing I'll do is um, sew the applique be bit beats. My goodness, you wouldn't realise that I've had a whole night's sleep last night, would you? Um, sewing the applique bits on together and doing the the leather paint trim around them let's go for the applique i'm using my older machine uh, the industrial one is fantastic but for smaller fiddlier pieces i find that this one is just a little better so I have stuck together the two pieces that I need to sew that are double sided. I will sew them round and then this edge here I will paint with leather edge paint so that you can't see the bits behind. I've also done the same with the hat and I'm about to do Freddy's ears.
so that's the front stitch so far I still have the ears and the hat to attach but before I do that I will attach the zip around the outside um, so that I know how much edge I've got in order to attach the hat and the ears I don't want to sew too far and then can't attach the the hat and the ears so uh, zips next <laughs> there is the front of the bag with his ears and his hat and so now I shall go on and make the body of the bag.
And that is the bag. Yeah, done. This one is a convertible version, so it has the extra pieces on, so you can wear it as a crossbody or a backpack. All that's left to do now is the strap and the insert pillow, so I'll get that done. There we go, completely finished bag, complete with insert pillow and can't move fast enough strap. There we go, all done, and that one is off to its new home. I hope you enjoyed watching how I made this bag. I've made quite a few of them now, um, they've been super popular so thank you to everybody that has bought one. Um, I think my next order I need to make is a uh, Montgomery Gator inspired version so I'm really excited about that. Uh, thank you for watching the video, if you enjoyed it please pop a like down below um, and if you like what I'm doing hopefully it will be more regular now. Uh, please feel free to subscribe and if you want to find me on other social media my links will be down below as well um, and I think that's it so uh, take care and I will see you next time thanks guys bye